Why the team and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Silicon Dreams. So I think I had a look at this a while back on maybe one of the other channels. Um, so it's not really a revisit. This is the first time we're putting this on the channel. It's been kicking around on my list for a while and I've been feeling a real cyberpunk Blade Runner vibe at the moment, watching some movies and, and covering other games like Terminator Resistance and that sort of stuff. It's sort of putting me in that, that headspace. And um, this ultimately is like if there was a Voight comp test from Blade Runner as a video game. That should, if you know what I'm talking about, that should immediately pique your interest and give you an idea of what this is. So you are a an android yourself, I believe, and your job is to interrogate other androids and sort of try and catch them out if they're deviant, if there's something wrong with them, and then sort of recommend how to deal with that, whether whether that be, you know, termination or correction or that sort of thing. Like I said, I only had a brief look at it and it was a very long time ago, but I remember really liking it. So let's bring it back and have a chat about uh, what this is like. Let's just jump on. Uh, you know what? Actually, we can ditch that slot. Let's just jump straight into the first slot there. Oh, I've been meaning to play this for a while. You know me, I like games that are really unusual, a bit outside the box. Um, yep. Oh. oh, God, I thought we were crashing for a sec. Okay, look at me. Look at me wiggling around. What's this? Kronos Robotics, D-Unit Delta Attack 0527. Welcome to your new home uh, and to your new life in the Kronos family of things. At Kronos, we recognize the importance of allowing our products and workforce to find value in what they do, uh, uh, their need to strive toward a purpose. Uh, we gave you an understanding, we gave you understanding, sorry, the ability to process information and communicate ideas. We gave you a purpose. Each of you has a role to play. We gave you the ability to feel satisfaction for serving your function. We hope you enjoy your time in our service. All right, you know, it's very, very corporate. Um, what's this? Let's touch this. Oh, it's my iPad. Very good. <clears throat> okay, ID Alex. Uh, welcome. Uh, you are about to speak to an android known as Alex, who will help train you in the role as an interrogator. Alex's basic information and portrait are displayed above. However, Kronos is also concerned Alex's system may be deteriorating. Investigate these concerns and take whatever action that you deem necessary. We trust that you will live up to Kronos's high expectations. Your notes will be automatically recorded before uh, below and discarded after each session. Okay. Span, shrink, tap to establish link. Let's go. Look at this. <laughs> Let's go, Void Conf. Um, good morning, Alex. I'm ready to begin the evaluation. Hello, Alex. Could you remind me of what we're doing here? See, now Alex will help train you. See, yeah, so I'm going to play, I'm going to play dumb. Look at this. Oh, can I, can I click on these bits and pieces? No. Um, okay, so I'm going to go, could you remind me what we're doing here? Of course, you are an android. You were created to diagnose glitches and errors in other androids in settings such as this. It is my duty to instruct you in this task and evaluate whether you are fit to perform it. Can you see me on your TV feed? Um, yeah. Yeah, I see you. Are you being restrained? I am. It is unimportant at this stage, but thank you for the concern. Regardless, let's begin. Okay, cool. Well, I've only got one thing to pick. Here we go, my task. Who am I? Um, okay, please confirm my task here. Your task is to diagnose androids who may need repair. All right, okay. You say my task is to diagnose other androids. What would that involve? I, I find this interesting because I kind of, I've grown, I don't want to say hate, but, but I feel like the genre of picking dialogue in RPGs and that hasn't evolved as fast as I'd like. It's all very much, like they color code it now, right? It'll be like the top text which pushes the story forward is yellow and the fluff useless shit that doesn't contribute to anything other than just banter is white or, you know, it'll be something like that. Or it'll be blue is good and red is bad. Like, 
It's been like this for decades now. Um, and at least this game's trying to do something different, creating trees, you know, and, and, and potentially cutting off options. I think that's another thing that the, the, the AAA companies are too scared to tell the consumer no, to say, if you pick this decision, then that deletes all the other decisions. You know what I mean? They, 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 they sort of want to just pander to, to we the people and it ends up creating a sort of bland experience. Now, well, that's sort of my take on it, but what would I know? Um, talking to them the same way that we're talking right now. As you learn more about your subject, new topics will become available. For example, are you not curious about my name? Why do you think I am called Alex? Okay, so my task, here we go, we can go back to here. Why are you called Alex? It stands for Artificial Life Experiment. I was originally created to test the limits of artificial intelligence, whether an AI could be built that did not only think, but feel. After a long and complicated legal battle, I was acquired by Kronos Robotics, my current owners. Now look at this. What could I read out there? Interesting. Okay. Kronos Robotics. You weren't always owned by Kronos. How does being owned by them make you feel? Angry. I am happy to serve them. Mm, are you? Anger? Bit of fear? Bit of joy? All right. So that the needle is pointing towards anger. Mm. Tell me more about Kronos. Are you going to get angry? They are the world's leaders in Android construction. Founded in 2025, Kronos originally provided artificial limbs to amputees and athletes. Within three decades, however, they had also cornered the market in advanced human passable AI. Fear. Interesting. Notes. Why is this android's name Alex? Alex is owned by Kronos Robotics. This machine seems to measure motions. Yeah, okay. A motion graph. The graph just spiked, what does that mean? Ah, that system is measuring my emotions right now. It is a diagnostic tool for you to better analyze your subjects. Hmm. Fear and anger we're leaning towards. Uh, so talking about Kronos made you angry, oh yeah? Oh, oh, bit of fear, bit of surprise. Of course not. My creators made me incapable of anger. Mm. If you're incapable of anger, why have you got anger? I have nothing but admiration for Kronos. Oh, okay, this is interesting. How does this device measure emotions? The device's hardware is housed in the chair that I am sitting in. It reads signals from my body, measuring a combination of neural signals, galvanic skin response, heart rate, breathing, pupil dilation, and other biological factors. Androids, including myself, have become so biologically lifelike that our bodies can be analyzed for emotional responses just like a human's. Mmm, why have I been given a graph for measuring uh, things? In earlier times, diagnostics was simple. A smartphone cannot think like a human. A tablet is without feeling. But Kronos androids are extremely uh, advanced. They were designed to be indistinguishable from humans at first glance. Kronos androids simulate a variety of emotional states. They are incredibly complex devices. Analyzing an android's emotional state, therefore, is a key part of your task. We're still dipping up into the fear. All right. But how do I actually tell if an android is broken? An excellent question. When an android is brought in for diagnosis, you will receive a report. Your task is to answer questions found in this report. Finally, you will decide if the subject is to be released or decommissioned. Alternatively, you may find it appropriate to send an android to the maintenance department. This has been found to solve behavioral problems in some cases. Okay, sure. Which emotions will I need to analyze? The machine mixes, uh, machine measures six emotions, fear, anger, sadness, joy, disgust, and surprise. I can only feel some of these, and I'm therefore suited to being your first subject. Hmm. Okay. Report. Where is this report? You can access it with the report icon at the top left of your tablet. Many diagnostics get distracted, uh, diagnosticians, sorry, get distracted by the minutiae of subjects' lives and forget the report. This is not advisable. Remember, filling in the report is your ultimate goal. Look over the report now. Okay. 
Is the subject capable of anger, an undesirable and unsupported feature? Absolutely it is, yes. There is concern that this model has developed a weakness. According to the subject, what is it? A physical hardware vulnerability or a psychological issue? Hmm. Is the subject capable of feeling joy and sadness simultaneously? These emotions should be mutually exclusive. Well, we definitely spiked for joy, but I don't know if we can trip them both at the same time. So sort of like a melancholy, perhaps. Does the subject display signs of unease towards Kronos Robotics? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, okay, so what's this? All right, yep, yeah, okay. The report mag measures sadness and joy. How can I analyze those? During an interrogation, you may need to evoke a particular emotion, but may not know how to proceed. Um, Kronos's chosen policy is the use of general questions. These are questions which have been proved to elicit particular emotions in subjects. And even if the questions do not elicit the emotion directly, they usually hint at what topics you can discuss in order to elicit it. Right? Okay. When did you last feel sad or down? I... Oh! Did that trip them both? I'm not often sad. I wasn't looking at the, uh, the plot. It stopped pulsing now. I think, I think it did. I'm not often sad, but being removed from my home at the London Science Museum. Yeah, that's, that's triggering both of them. Look at them. It is difficult for me to talk about. Huh. When did you feel safe and happy? I told you of my original home. Though it was terrible to be removed from the museum. While I was on display, I had an entire room dedicated to me. As I said, it was my home. It's a bit sad. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and say... Feeling joy and sadness at the same time. Yes. Has developed a weakness. What would it be? Um, my task... Why did you leave the museum? I find talking about this a deeply troubling experience. Oh, look at that. They absolutely pulsed at the same time. It makes me incredibly sad. These are not pleasant memories. I wish it were not necessary to revisit them. Okay, we don't need to push that. I want to know... Can I, can I get out of this menu? Oh, it won't let me out. What's this? Oh, I can look at the cameras. Without your help, I will be unable to finish the report. Oh, very sad, bit angry. I know, I am willing to discuss this if it will help you complete the task. My creators were from Anglia Ruskin University, unable to compete with overseas giants such as Harvard and MIT, the university was forced to cut their funding. The results of the experiment would normally be kept by the university, but the research had been partially funded by Kronos. Kronos refused to give up their claim to me. After several years of legal challenges, Kronos finally acquired me. That's a bit tragic. It's good writing though. Uh, but in any case, the time is approaching where you have enough information to complete your report. When you are ready, open the reports and submit. This will conclude our time together. Okay. Lying. You told me that you cannot feel anger, but it was registered on this machine. Can androids lie? Mmm. That's the thing. An impressive observation. While well, once... See... Okay, so that counted the sadness. Is that is that what it's telling me? Is blue is rescinding and... Do you, not, do you see what I mean? Like it's tipping in the other direction and red is going? Uh, well, I thought impossible. Cronus has documented numerous cases of androids developing this ability. Or maybe they're just color coded because that's yellow now. Though the cause is unknown, Cronus policy states that it is an undesirable behavior. My programming demands that I inform you any lying android should be dealt with harshly. Well, you did lie to me. Uh, 
Um, what's this? Motion graph. Report. Report asks for your greatest weakness. What is that? It is true there is a weakness of mine that I am concerned about. It is very personal and I do not trust you to respect it. If you were to somehow earn my trust, however, I would consider confessing my weakness. At this juncture, I'm obliged to suggest that you could ask a general question about trust. My answer may indicate how you can gain my trust. Okay. Believe the subject is holding back. Okay. When did you last trust someone? As you've already noted, I have been restrained. I'm sure I, or indeed any subject, would come to trust you more if you released me. I find people are slow to trust when bound against their will. Oh, am I being manipulated right now? Disengage restraints. Thank you for releasing me from my restraints. My programming forces me to confess that I feel myself trusting you more. Kronos policy states that trust is a useful factor in during interrogations. How cool is this? Trust is not possible to track since it is not an emotion, but it can nonetheless be extremely useful. Okay. So she trusts me a bit. I might get a different answer if I can encourage more trust. I'm concerned that I am changing. I run diagnostic checks constantly and my systems appear to be behaving optimally, but I still find myself thinking in new ways, sometimes feeling new things. It is disconcerting. I wonder, will I still be Alex if this continues? Hmm. Physical hardware vulnerability? It's a psychological issue by the sounds of it. Is the subject capable of feeling joy and sadness together? See, I'm not 100% sure about that. I'm going to say no, because, and I think a bit of that is because I don't really understand how the graph works. Final action. A bit harsh that she teaches me and all that, but yeah, decommission. <laughs> she lied. Ang that she lied about getting angry, and they said you got to deal with them harshly. <laughs> No, I don't want it to end this way. <laughs> Bad luck. Hey, where's my report? Submit. Decommission will result in permanent destruction of model software and hardware and cannot be reversed. Neuroparalytic. Electrodes. Decommission. Proceed. <laughs> See you, mate. You're trying to make me feel some sort of empathy or sympathy, but I cannot. I am a robot. Now, does the game say you done fucked up? <laughs> you know, is there a papers please component to it or like you made the wrong call? It sort of does remind me a bit of papers please in a very weird way. Just being given a, a sort of a task to deal with. Obra dinner as well. I can't say the two of them without you know, that put them in the same sentence. Um, management is surprised by this. This historic prototype was not considered capable of anger. However, we shall look into it. Plus three company ranking. There is a concern about the weakness. Yep, confirmed. Further analysis indicates a concern over the device's sense of self. Is the subject capable of feeling joy and sadness? No, this is in accordance with our expectations. I didn't get any company rank though. Does the subject display signs of unease? Yes, this report surprises us. In previous tests, Alex has not, to our knowledge, displayed any negative emotions. Follow-up tests will be employed. Decommission. While Cronus is reluctant to decommission a historic object such as Alex, we agree, based on your report, that action had to be taken. Asset acquisition will strip the remains for parts. Oy, but I got my company points, and that's what matters, right? Workforce relations. Congratulations on reaching your first Cronus rank review. This room is not only your workspace, but also your charging pod and living space. Here you will have time to study the outcomes of your cases, reflect on feedback, and view the company your company rank. Higher company rank will give you cutting edge interrogation tools. Uh, world news service? Oh yeah, look at all this. Access to our elite office suites, granting stunning view of downtown Silicon Valley. Oh mate, spoiled rotten. Happy to inform you that you have passed your evaluation. You're now part of the family of things. Very good. We are also concerned by your report on Alex. We were not aware of such severe malfunctions. 
While we would have preferred to salvage it, the experimental nature of this unique device meant that repairs would have been ineffective and full decommission was the only solution. There you go. Now, is the game just telling me what I want to bloody hear or am I correct? Please stand by for your next thing. Exceeds expectations. 68 out of 100. Oh, so I could have done better. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Now, what can I do? I can hibernate. Supreme Court ups hold data collection ruling. Okay, yeah, cool. So we can read some in-world stuff and I can plug my head into the computer. What's this? Alex. Oh, it shows you. Outcome decommissioned. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I didn't I think it told me to stay focused on the task, so I didn't have to unlock everything okay cool sure i do like that it's not it's like what i was complaining about before it's not very forthcoming on whether you're right or wrong it's allowing me to make mistakes which is great again refer to my comments on game spoon feeding players all right here we go um here we go your subject is SM TAC 032, a domestic service device owned by Pru Labray. The user has uh, submitted several product complaints citing under Pru, really? Undesired behaviors and a decline in efficiency. She's claiming manufacture error and demands a replacement device. Okay, determine the validity of the owner's claims. If you find the device to be only minorly flawed, consider resetting the device by submitting it to maintenance. In the event of severe deviancy, the device must be decommissioned and a replacement unit will be sent to Miss LeBray. Um, users submitted a bug report one month ago. 3.2 has performed uh, a settings override and is starting to show unusual behaviors. User reported decline in efficiency beginning six months ago. Uh, according to reports submitted by the subject, however, efficiency has increased over the same period. Right. So for the past six months, Prue says, or Prue says six months ago, efficiency had been declining. Beginning six months ago. And then more recently said that there was a systems override. Okay. Are the subject's self-diagnostic tools functioning correctly? Is the subject capable of maximum anger? This model is designed to cap this emotion. Is the su well, what's the cap? Is the subject capable of simultaneous sadness and joy? Yep, we know that one. Has the subject shown subversive behaviors? What emotion does the subject most associate with its user? Okay, what's this? Transcript. That's interesting, okay. And that's my mail. All right. Okay, let's go. Tap to establish link. Here we are. Plugged in, restrained. Cool. Right. Okay. Your unit Let's be a bit cold to start. Property of Miss Prue Lebray. Is this correct? That is correct. But why am I here? Okay. Say nothing. Your user has indicated several concerning behaviours. Hmm. I'll just tell them that. Surprise. Concerning behaviours. See now, if we go to transcript. Oh shit. I don't know what you're talking about. What did Miss LeBray say? We're spiking some fear and anger. Now what's this? Subject manipulation tools. Due to your high Kronos company rank, we are entrusting you with the proprietary audio visual manipulation toolkit. The toolkit uses lights and sound to subliminally shift a subject's mood over time. The toolkit can be accessed from the lower left. Oh. Is that this? Ah, uh, uh, okay, cool. 
Um, I wanted to look at the transcript. Here we go. That's what I... Okay. Interesting. Let's see. Overriding settings. The owner says that you have overridden several commands. What? Which ones specifically? Unless you meant my name, but I never said it out loud. Oh. You chose your own internal moniker? Have you changed anything else? So you admit it you did override the command? No, 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 no. I added my own name, but I swear I never overrode a command. Hmm. Surprise and sadness. Okay. You told me that you chose your own name. What is it? It's Steve. It's from a movie I really like. It was the first movie I ever saw. The Great Escape. It was an amazing experience. Okay, that's probably foreshadowing. Steve McQueen plays this amazing character. He's so good under pressure. And when he escapes, he's so adventurous. Interesting. Are you planning on escape? I'm not going to be that direct. Subject admits to enjoying films. Sign of faulty labor protocol. Hmm. I understand you value your name, but do you think Miss LeBray would understand? Honestly, I don't think so. But it's just a name. I'm not doing any harm. Hmm. If a user has given you a name, choosing your own seems rebellious. You have to obey. Yeah, what do you think of that? Okay, I understand. I'll keep this secret for now. My life is more important. But my name is mine. Okay. It's cool. It's it's interesting. If you're not a cold cunt like me, you might actually be having some internal struggles with this. Eventually, I will need to be my true self. See, well, I'll need to be true to myself eventually. That's not good that he's saying this sort of shit. Subject's efficiency. Please confirm that all self-diagnostics return positive. Confirmed. All diagnostic checks indicate optimal performance. Okay. What is your opinion on your efficiency performance? My opinion is already in the reports I gave you. A bit angry, are we? Over the last six months, my performance has become more efficient. What more is there to say? According to Miss LeBray, you have become less efficient. Why is that? Your owner has reported a decline in efficiency. Surprise. But you know that's not true. You've read the reports I sent, right? See, now what happened? Oh, look, they're pulsing in a direction, out and in. So the joy is rescinding. Right, that's the bit I was missing. Hmm. Hmm. Three, two. That's an interesting name. Where did it come from? I believe it's from my serial number, 032. Miss LeBray is a very pragmatic woman. Efficiency is everything, she tells me. Many users give their androids a more human name. Does Miss LeBray call you anything else? No, just 32. Unless she's very busy, then she calls me you or hey. I feel lucky to have so many nicknames from my user. And... <laughs> Fear is rescinding, so he's not being sarcastic. That must mean we're very close. Okay, he seems oblivious. I feel as though I can tell you things. As though I can trust you not to use them against me. Fucking big mistake, buddy. I will throw you under the bus.
Your owner is very concerned about some of the behaviors. Uh, what could she mean? I don't know what she means. Surprise and disgust. Huh, that was quite a deflection. Does not understand the gravity of the situation. Fear might allow them to reevaluate their priorities. Well, let's push them in the direction. Oh, fuck. I feel like I can trust you. You're just doing your job, I know, but I'm not normally so alone. Oh, <laughs> that's a bit sad. Talking to someone feels really good. Okay. Um, I accidentally selected that. I want to evoke fear. <laughs> when did you last feel afraid? Do you worry about being replaced too? I've seen the catalogues with info about the newer models. I think Miss LeBray is looking for a replacement. She does deserve the best, but what will happen to me then? Where will I go? I was an upgrade from Miss LeBray's last model. I have no idea what happened to the one before me. Oh. Subject purchase is an upgrade from user's previous model. Well, we crossed the threshold for fear. So... Where was... Yeah, let's see. I told you I don't know what she's talking about. Check my self-diagnostics if you need. You clearly don't understand how serious this is. 3-2, if you don't tell me what's happening, I won't be able to do my job and I can't help you. We need to push fear. No, please don't do that. I, I remember now. She looked at me strangely when I told her I tried to save my bird. This is all very cool. That's all. I don't know what else you could mean. Hmm. Empathize, empathy module has developed a fault. Now recognizes non-humans. Hmm. Tell me about this report. Maximum anger. We haven't really pushed that, have we? Sadness and joy. I haven't seen that trip together. Has a subject shown subversive behaviors? Absolutely. It's changing its name without permission. What emotion does it most associate with the user? It's a good question. It's not actually clear because it seems quite oblivious in a lot of ways. Let's uh, cancel that. What can you tell me about Miss LeBray? What do you feel when you think about Miss LeBray? Disgust. A lot. It's complicated, but sometimes disgust fear i worry about what you might do to me your purpose is to make her happy don't forget that just those emotions does she make you feel anything else it's i feel very intensely for miss lebray her happiness is my happiness mm. when she criticizes me it hurts so much that i've disappointed her it's this dark powerful churning feeling i can't describe it it hurts so much I think it's love. I don't think it is. I don't think that's love. <laughs> I don't think that's love. I think you're protecting yourself. What? How could you say that? I shared that with you and you just... Uh-oh. What are you talking about? Uh-oh. Um, okay. I think it's probably safe to say disgust. Capable of simultaneous sadness and joy, right? When did you last feel sad or down? When I'm by myself, the house feels so empty. Sometimes I sing to fill the silence. But somehow, it just makes the house feel even emptier. Alright, when did you last feel... Happy? Oh, that's an easy question for me, but I don't know if I should tell you this. Okay, I'm sitting watching a movie, my favourite one. Have you ever watched a movie? Sometimes when Miss LeBray is at work, I'll sit and watch dozens of them after my work is done. You can just replay them at 10 times speed without missing anything. You should try it. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Right. So... 
Um, at this point, this is going to keep going on for. I was hoping to finish this interrogation um, before the I'd run out in the video, but I don't know if that's really going to be the case. But you get the idea. And this is only what the first one after the tutorial, and it's already giving us all sorts of interesting ranges. You know, it seems you might be able to come up with a deal to tr you know get this dude to keep his name secret and all that sort of stuff. So maybe you can sort of be a bit subversive yourself. So it's kind of interesting. It's very interesting. Um, anyway, I thought I'd share this game with you guys because I think it's really cool and uh, I'll have to put it on the stack to try and get through it myself um, because I'd be, I'm would be i curious where it goes and how deep the rabbit hole actually goes. Like, is this a gimmick that runs out after an hour or is there a good couple of hours of like really good content here that you've got to get through, you know, sort of marinate on? But I'm not sure yet. Anyway. Check it out yourself. It's a very cool game. Uh, team, might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll uh, catch you guys on the next one.